He is not on social media. I have never heard or seen any news of him being at a hotel or a club or at any other restaurant openings. Unless, of course, if it's a cricket club. He married his childhood sweetheart and on their wedding, he drove her from the church in a tractor. Presenting to you here is a person who is more about substance than just style or swag. Alistair Nathan Cook, England's more than man. A person who played more tests than any other English cricketer. A person who scored more runs than any other Englishman. Scored more centuries than any other English batsman. And of course, held on to most catches than any other English fielder. A hundred on debut against India in Nagpur on a turning track, having flown in across the world from the Caribbean to replace an ill Marcus Trishkotic. To a hundred against India at the Kia Oval in London in his last test match just yesterday. As Joe Root said, this indeed is a story, a script written in the stars. Hey hi friends, this is your host Yash Khandor once again from the International Cricket Network 360, ICN 360 as you all know. On this episode we have Mr. Simon Kadic. Hey hi Simon, how are you? Very good, thanks. The coach for the Trinbago Knight Riders as we all know. So how's the atmosphere, your 2-2? Two, two, one very close game, how, how are the boys feeling? From being tagged as the next Malcolm Marshall to come out as being the Tino best, you've definitely come a long way. And you mentioned your book. I saw, I, I remember seeing your book and it's a, it says a foreword by Andrew Flintoff. Right from that cheeky sledging incident <laughs> all the way to he writing the foreword for you. It seems to have come a full circle, isn't it? So how's the experience been with the CPL? I know you played the Global T20 just prior to this. H how's it different? It says the biggest party in cricket. How does it hold up to the hype? You look like really fit back coming back from an injury. How's the journey been? I know it's not easy myself having played cricket to stay fit and also especially come back from an injury. How's the journey been? How's your jig going with DJ Bravo? You seem to be matching step by step. As you said, the facility is wonderful, especially for cricket fans and players like us who play in the same facility. It's, an, it's a great opportunity. What do you think about the US players making an impact? Like in the recent Crick Info article, we saw Ali Khan was the bowler of the week. We have Saurabh Nitra Walker here for the Guyana Amazon Warriors, who represents American college cricket as well. What do you think about the growth of sport in the US? Going back in time, you played with two of the uh, most explosive opening batsmen with Hayden and uh, Gilchrist. What do you think if you guys play with that batting order here with shorter grounds, bigger bats and the Kookaburra like having it seem just disappearing? What do you think you'd have had a blast batting here? The CPL has been the tournament for leg spinners especially if it's the first ball of their spell isn't it? Like three leg spinners all of them getting wicket of the first ball. What do you think about the pitches even in the Caribbean and the evolution of wrist spin just in cricket in general? Just the last question with your bowling action which is wrong-footed does it come naturally you developed it how is it it looks wonderful to right, see it's, 